Hello and welcome back everybody to another episode of Tortuga A Pirate's Tale. It's been a while, I've been extremely sick, uh, but we're going to get right back into it. We are going to do things a little bit differently today. We are going to start a new campaign, but we are going to go with a very hard difficulty. Uh, we're going to start out here in the Netherlands. Uh, so let's get to it. And I hope everybody's doing well. I still feel like I'm dying. You truly pulled out all the stops last night. <laughs> I have and this very hard difficulty is quite a bit. I've already, I was trying to do a campaign earlier and had some issues and didn't get it recorded so we're gonna try this again and see what happens but my ships were being sunk extremely quick alright so we're gonna get in here this guy's got a sloop we've got a brig and it's still gonna be a fight so we're gonna just come forward one tile here let him kind of run up. I don't really like that, so we're gonna sail a little bit away from him here. There you go, now we'll try to come back around and attack him here. Alright, and we've taken out the armor on that side. Alright, so I think we're going to go ahead and take out some men here. Now that he's got 11, we're going to try to board the ship. Fifty-six percent chance we'll take that. And we failed the first round in. That's not so good. Alright, and it looks like we took that ship. That's pretty good for where we're at here. Let's go ahead, we'll take over the ship. Yeah, we'll throw them overboard. And then loot doesn't look like we got a lot here. The most we got was some bread. But that's fine. We don't necessarily need anything right now. You can just talks too much we're just gonna skip off all that all right so now we gotta go to the Turks Islands and try to sign on a captain here so we'll dock and go to the tavern we've got Walsh here And now we will... Oh, he's got his own brig. No, that is not what I want to do there, fella. I would like... Yeah, we'll repair. And then we will sell the sloop. Go back, we'll go to the tavern here, we'll buy a round. Top off the men. See what's going on here. Uh, we won't worry about provisions just yet. Uh, let's... Okay, they don't have anything for us here. So we are going to search for the easy prey. And what I also want to check is where... Alright, where all the upgrades are for our ship. I think the best thing that we should do is head to the northwest there and look at increasing our armor. And here's the 
easy prey that we're looking for. And it appears to be another sloop. And this has so far been going a lot better than the last time I was playing. We will bring these ships about at different sides. Because again, I think... So we will sail just forward a bit here. And same thing over here. Yeah, let him close the distance. Alright, we're still not in a good position here to attack him on this side. So I think I'm going to bring this ship about this way and try to come back it again. And maybe this ship, yeah, will be set up in a position to attack him. Um, I think the more favorable option would be to hit him on this side. And it looks like he's got 30 or 20 out of his 30 men. So we didn't quite destroy that side, but that's okay. Dang, see, he has a lot of movement there. So I'm going to bring this ship about here. Because I don't think he can flip it back around to hit on this side. And we're going to shoot into him again there. Alright, he's got 12 men. I think now would be a good time to try to board at 55%. We'll take that try. And it looks like we were successful. Alright, and we've got this other ship here. Hmm. I mean, I really don't want to attack. Maybe we'll just sail out. Try to come back in again. See if we can't hit him with some grape shot. No, that's okay. And we took over the sloop. So far it's been good. Uh, fortune on our side. So we'll go ahead and take that ship too. Looks like we got about the same amount of loot that we got before, whereas we got a little bit of lumber instead of the bread. Alright, so let's go ahead and dock. They are going to want to spend the money. Let's go ahead and talk to the harbor master first. We are going to sell the sloop. And no, none of the ships need repaired. All right, let's go to the tavern. We will divide the loot. You're the captain, so you can also specify how much of the booty you want to share. The more the crew receives. All right, so hold on. We will keep them happy, but only marginally happy. We're not going to keep them overly happy. And we didn't sink a ship. They're upset about that. That's kind of okay. We get richer not sinking the ship. So we are going to go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and get some of our abilities here. I think what we want to do is increased boarding strength. Just because we're going to be doing that a lot. But... We also need reduced damage. So we'll take a look at this and we'll get back to you when we've chosen what we want. All right, so we've decided to go with Boarding Frenzy. And then Lucky Shot, we will go ahead and add some points into Lucky Shot there so we get ships automatically sustain a critical hit. Uh, that way we can do more damage and then board them because these guys will be out to destroy us. And it looks like we've got to... 
do quite a bit. Let's go ahead and we'll divide the loot. We will... Oh man. I think we could do that. I don't really want to sink a ship. Improving ships by 7,000 is quite a bit. I mean, we could do that. That's kind of what we're setting out to do anyway, is improve the ship. So let's go ahead and do that. It can take them up to like three weeks before they get upset. So I think we're going to go ahead and set out for the northwest here uh, to Nassau. That way that we can upgrade the hulls so we can take more damage on these ships. So we'll go ahead and see when we get there or if anything else happens in between. Alright, so we've made it to Nassau and we've got... I mean, we've got several things that we are going to buy here for these ships. But we also have a problem as there is a pirate ship that's extremely close to us. Uh, so I think that we're going to instantly get into a fight here. We will have to check in just a second. We are going to buy around, try to get the rest of our men here. And we'll see what happens, because like I said, I think that we're going to get into it. And their ship... Oh, come on. Yeah, so it looks like we're going to get into it here. And he's got a pirate bark. That ship is just as strong as both of my ships are. So... We may be in trouble already. But I think we're going to play to our strengths here and do what we do, which is just sail away. <laughs> Oh man, so close on that. Um, same thing here. I think we're gonna go way out here. Oh man, the ship is so close. There we go, that's a good shot off the bow, but I don't really care for that. Um, we may bring this ship out here. Alright, and it looks like he took a long shot at this ship here and wasn't able to connect. So it's exactly the kind of stuff we want. Because again, these guys can be brutal. So we're going to go ahead and fire a shot right there. Looks like we didn't really do very much to him. Let's see how many men he has. He's got 80 men. I don't really want to fire in both of his sides. It's not gonna. It's not gonna do me a lot of good. I really don't like the shot on this side, but we will take it, I suppose. Oh yeah, we could do our lucky shot there. That might be worth it, get that critical hit. But he is going to shoot on both of our ships here. No? Okay. And that would be... I mean, it's not going to be a full shot, so it's not going to be really what we want. But again, I don't want to have to shoot at both of his sides to break him down. Because he is not going to do that for me. He is just going to attack me as quickly as possible. Maybe. Oh. Hold on. He's got 80 men and we've got 50. I don't like that either. Maybe I should try to sail this one out and come back around. But I think that he's just going to follow it up.
I'm gonna try to come around this way. That'll be a full shot. Alright, now we're into his armor. But he is also just about to be, yeah. Just about to be in our armor too. Uh, we just ran into his ship. Sixteen percent chance to board. Lovely. But we can come about here and hit him with some grape shot. Fifty percent chance it's not gonna be very good. He lost seven men. Could run into our own ship if we want to. I'm gonna do this, but I really think that he's gonna come back between both the ships. Yeah, he's not gonna lose very many men. Nope, didn't lose them at all. I knew he was going to come do that. That's so obnoxious of him. And only 16% chance to board. Um, we may have to just board him. Oh, uh, no. Can't do that. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna board them. We don't have a lot of options on this. Although our men are still pushing on that, that is encouraging. And we still fail on the other captain. This is uh, a bit obnoxious. There he goes. All right, and we've taken that prize. That is uh, very, very good news. So it looks like tobacco, bread, coffee, and tobacco pipe is what we got. So let's go ahead and take over the ship's first thing. That's going to be our new prize. So we'll go ahead and take that. Uh, let's see how many men. We got three. Welcome, men. And then we'll go ahead... Now we know where a pirate hideout is. That's excellent, but we will hold off on that. First thing we're going to do is come right back to port. That is not what I do not want to attack the convoy. No, thank you. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and dock. Talk to the harbor master. Get to repair all the ships. Awesome. Next, fleet. The flagship. Nah, we are going to go ahead and make that our new flagship. Next. Nope, we are not done. Harbor Master. Ooh, can I get another deck? Oh, that would, uh... I don't think that's really what I want. We could get a hold to get more cargo space and a cabin for more crew. Um, it's already got 80 men. I'm not sure why that takes so much weight off. Because one deck per side.
and we will just leave that alone. Um, tell you what, yeah, we'll just actually leave that alone altogether. Let's go ahead and go to the tavern. We will see about getting a couple more men. We'll see what this fellow wants. He's got a friend in an English prison. So let's see what he wants here. Raid three convoys from England and loot. That I think we can do. So we're going to go ahead and set out to the southeast. Um, we may check out that pirate cave, coven, whatever it is, the hideout when we get down there. Just to give this thing some sport. Because I have actually done a lot better than I anticipated on this difficulty. So we'll see you as we get down there. So we've come down to the secret hideout and it looks like all that they are sporting is a brig. Uh, we have quite the advantage but they could still knock us around a bit. I don't want you to think that just because it's a brig and we have only one brig and then a better ship that we could easily smoke them. The computer is pretty difficult. At least it can be. The first time I tried recording it, it seemed extremely difficult. I kind of, every time I'd set out I get knocked around a bit. Uh, so I've been extremely lucky on this particular go around. And uh, you know, it just makes me think luck is a lot has a lot to do with uh, success sometimes. Even Julius Caesar said that he was extremely lucky in his endeavors. So, But with that, we're going to go ahead and hit this lucky shot. Uh, he was actually captured by pirates at one point in his life. And I think that story is amazing. Uh, they had, it said, I mean, I don't know how true this is, obviously, but it is said that when they set a ransom for him, he told them to double it. And he kind of acted like he was the superior to these pirates and wa would walk around and give orders to the regular men and would talk with the captain. And at one point, he tells them that he is going to capture them all and hang them for this and they just kind of laugh it off like oh oh Julius you're just being you and and the story goes that he captures them all and hangs them so pirates have been around forever Oh, I don't really like that. Let's see how many men they've got. They've got 35. Okay, let's go ahead and try to board that. We'll go ahead and get the good ship here to try to board that. 82%. And they failed. I don't know why I called that the good ship. And they clearly failed. This ship is going to beat me up. 98%. You can't fail that. Come on now. Okay. <laughs> I was about to be super surprised. Alright, so we're giving them a little bit of a run here. 58%. And... Alright, so we've got them here on the ropes. We're going to try to board them once again on this other ship. Really kind of sad. And they finally show up to take the cake. Um, let's go ahead and take over the ship. We, we like to sell ships. That's just part of what we like to do. Also, it looks like they got a little bit of tobacco, tobacco pipes, and coffee for us. So we'll take that as well. And now we are just into the game and we've got our first hideout. I don't think that we have anything, yeah, we don't have enough materials to buy anything out of it yet. But that is okay. Uh, so next we are going to go head down, continue heading southeast here. 
to raid the English and their convoys. So we will see you again if anything happens on the way. And we're coming up upon one of our first English ships here. Oh no, there's a pirate ship right behind it. So we're probably going to run into that. They've got a brig. Let's go ahead and just intimidate them, see if we can get that out of the way. That's not what I wanted to do. Okay, that's going to count as the first one. I do not want to mess with these pirates. I know I wanted to make it lively, but not that lively this early. I'm not looking for that. So they are going to try to come get us, but heading directly into the wind, we should be able to outpace them. Yeah, they like to veer off of course every once in a while, so we will be able to outrun them. And it looks like they've stopped. So we're going to continue sailing around here near Isabella and Tortuga to search for some more vessels. We may get into another fight here to try to take over another ship. So we will see you... actually... oh man that's actually a good one but they are quite strong. Uh, I could take over that... yeah let's go ahead. We'll go ahead and try to intimidate them. Nope. All right. So we've got to do this. The old. We've got a military corvette. Okay. So that is actually pretty good compared to what we've got. So we're gonna try to take this ship. Always upgrading the fleet. That is what we are doing. So we're gonna send each one of these guys in different directions. See how this captain. Okay. So it looks like he's coming after this one. We'll sail this one out. Sail this one back around. Let him close the distance. All right, we are gonna go ahead. Almost want to put this one here, and we'll actually do the same thing here. All right, so he can shoot at that. That's kind of what I was hoping he wouldn't be able to do. And I really can't do anything from where I'm at. I can kind of hit him right here. Okay, this ship is okay as far as damage. The other ship that I have here, not really doing so hot already. So let's see here. How many men does he have? got 80 men. Tell you what, we're going to come up right alongside him. You know what? Direct hit. We don't even care. There we go. Get him good. And... Okay, looks like he missed his volley. Which is... Could, we couldn't be more thrilled about that, let's be honest. Uh, so we're going to open another volley on this side. And since it wasn't a full shot, it didn't do a bunch of damage. I think what I want to do, now this is going to be pretty daring, but I think what I would like to do is try to board the ship on this side. And then have this ship come back around and keep hammering it. Uh, so that we can knock down the men on that. So we got a 99% chance we're going to take that. It was successful. Now we may not win on this boarding party. That's just the uh, the the bad luck part of it. I can't believe we can't hit that. But so far we are still doing well there. Alright, here we go. All right, we've destroyed the armor. We're the hole is taking damage now. All right, we're still doing that. I have to move at least four fields. My ship is too fast. Well, that's unfortunate. Tell you what, let's go ahead and try to board it as well. And we took it. I can't believe that. 
And that is extremely good fortune. Alright, so to the fleet. Mr. Walsh, you are going to get yourself a lovely new ship. And I hope... Well, I mean, we can go repair you immediately. But we need one more convoy. So you're going to stick with us until we get to Barracoa here. Oh man, there's another convoy. But that's got two ships. I don't really like that prospect. I don't think we're quite ready to take on multiple ships like that. Alright, so maintenance. It actually looks like we're okay. Uh, but we can go ahead and sell that ship. So we're going to go ahead and sell that. Next we're going to go to the tavern. Look for us some more men. 31 men. Awesome. And I actually think that that's a good place to leave it for this episode. We've kind of had a lot of luck. So if you made it this far, uh, thank you for watching and you have a